Here we have a black hole merger simulation. We'll start with stellar mass black holes that run from 3 to 50 times the mass of our Sun. In this example, each black hole has 25 times the mass of the Sun, and they are in orbit 50 million light years away in the Virgo supercluster. The minimum distance between them will be twice their Schwarzschild radius, which is larger than a neutron star radius. This puts them further apart than the earlier merging neutron stars example. But the increase in the black hole's mass more than compensates for that, and the merger produces a much larger amplitude. Now suppose these were two supermassive black holes, with each having 10 billion times the mass of the Sun. The Schwarzschild radius would become 40 million times larger. The gravitational wave's wavelength would be 36 million times longer, and the wave's amplitude would be 2 million times greater. In addition, calculating the circumference of the orbit and dividing by the period, we see that these behemoths are traveling around each other at up to one-third the speed of light. But black holes this massive in circular orbits might never actually merge. Although merging galaxies with black holes at their centers will have their black holes sink to the center of the new merged galaxy. They may not get close enough to form a new single black hole. This is the case because by the time the black holes reach a separation distance of around 1 parsec or 3.2 light years, the time to merger equation shows that this one will take over 333 billion years. That's 24 times the age of the universe. Astronomers call this the parsec problem. Yet, the supermassive black holes Sagittarius A star and Andromeda A star are not binary systems. Putting things into perspective, equal mass supermassive black holes in a circular orbit would be rare. Elliptical orbits with different masses in varying environments are the norm, and this can dramatically change the time to merge. Here's the recently merged galaxy NGC 6240. It has two supermassive black holes orbiting each other 2,240 light years apart. That's 750 parsecs. They are orbiting in a sea of molecular gas with a mass of around 9 billion times the mass of our Sun, as measured by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in northern Chile. Based on stellar dynamics, one is up to 9.7 times 10 to the seventh solar masses. The other is up to 4.4 times 10 to the eighth solar masses. Taking all this into account, researchers calculated that the supermassive black holes will merge around 55 million years from now. 